So there I was, depressed. Nothing had worked out for me so far. Hi, my name is Koru, and I set a goal to reach the rank of gold in Valorant. And uh, it took way longer than uh, I wanted it to, uh, to be honest. But before we start, we need to go over some history. If you watch some of my other videos, you know that my goal was always to be a musician. I never had anything else on my mind. It was the only thing that I ever wanted to do with my life. I grinded as hard as I possibly could to release music, play shows, collaborate with artists, shoot music videos, run ads, but nothing worked. Sometimes I would hang out with my friends and we'd play first person shooter games and I liked them. I liked them a lot, but I told myself if I play these games, I'm not going to have enough time to grind the way that I need to grind to make it big. So I intentionally stayed away from first person shooter games and I kept grinding the music for years. I moved from Tennessee to Colorado to try and get a fresh start, to get my mind right, to get a new outlook, and to try and keep grinding on the music thing, and it didn't work. I slowly started to lose steam, but I would still work on music. I eventually ended up buying a gaming computer because my old laptop was not gonna cut it anymore. So I got the gaming computer and it was working out great. But I also realized I could play crazy video games on my new gaming computer. I mean, who would have thought? I ended up buying Modern Warfare because I remember playing some Call of Duty with my friends. It was pretty fun and I thought, hey, let me give it a shot. And there's a game mode called Search and Destroy and I kind of fell in love. Search and Destroy is an objective mode with attackers and defenders where the goal is to plant the bomb and have it detonate or defuse the bomb if you're the defenders or before the bomb gets down if you kill everybody you're good and you win the round. So I was vibing on some Call of Duty Search and Destroy and I had a co-worker who told me that they were playing Apex, this new game that was a battle royale, it had characters, it had abilities and I was like alright cool it's free I'll download it. And I spent a bunch of time in Apex too. I just was realizing how much I really enjoyed playing first person shooters and gaming in general. And then a brand new game hit the scene. It was Valorant. And when I realized that this game was basically, the whole game was search and destroy, I, I lost it. I was like, this is amazing. This is so cool. Elimination rounds abilities it's apex it's search and destroy it's everything i like it i love it i want more of it <sighs> except the game was really hard and i was really bad at it like i was really bad and the game was really hard the more i played the more i realized this game was gonna take a lot of my time but for where i was at in my life i had all but given up on becoming a musician so i made a deal Valorant was going to be my kung fu. When I queued into ranked on Valorant, I started at Iron 2. Really, I was Iron 2 and it was really bad. I was really bad at the video game. And so I set a goal. I decided to set a goal and I said, I'm going to reach gold. So for me, for someone who deliberately stayed away from video games because I didn't want to sink my time into it, I did not know what I was doing and it felt impossible to rank up in this game, like actually impossible. And so that's part of the reason why I made the goal. I felt like if I could overcome what felt impossible to me, for me to rank up to this game in gold. I could overcome what felt impossible for me becoming a musician. The idea was that the things that I would learn ranking up from iron to gold would translate by way of my mentality to figuring out what it would take for me to uh, make a career out of making music. So my goal was to reach gold and I set my goal for it to happen in a month. And after three months, I was so mad I uninstalled the game and <laughs> angrily went for a really fast walk in downtown Denver where I was living at the time <laughs> and it really got me thinking about life it was dark outside cars were driving by and I was so freaking pissed and I was just like what am I doing with my life where am I what's happening why am I playing this game and I wanted to give up I mean, I uninstalled the game. I basically gave up. But I realized that this was the whole point of trying to go through this process. I can't give up. I can't just get mad and storm off. I need to find a way to actually rank up and get better at this game. So I kept going. And it was tough. 
Um, just take a look at a few of these clips. I was doing this weird crouch thing all the time. My crosshair placement was absolutely horrific. And this was back when Sky was still throwing gang signs. I was deranking back into iron. And overall, it was just a train wreck and it's kind of hard to watch. I ended up getting a subscription to Skill Capped, and that really helped. I was a little upset that it was just Smurfs explaining how to win in whatever rank they were Smurfing in, but at the end of the day, it was good instruction. So I kept aim training, kept grinding, kept learning. My aim started getting better. I started peeking corners a little better, and I started to understand the game more as a whole. But I would get so mad all of the time. And the time kept passing. Months and months started going by. Eventually a year had gone by since I had started my goal to reach gold and I was still in silver. I think I was still silver one. And it really just made me think, why am I still playing this game and have this goal and is this actually gonna help anything? It was so discouraging, I wanted to quit. I wanted to give up and I did I did end up uninstalling the game again. I did. I was a bit of a rage quitter, uh, to be completely honest. I did rage quit quite a bit, but I couldn't give up. I kept grinding, I kept working, and I kept not hitting gold. <laughs> Throughout the whole process, I kept trying to understand what it meant to actually work towards a goal. How do you manifest something that you actually need to put in the work towards doing? I continued to try and take the position of every game is part of the journey of getting there. But I had so much experience personally where failure was so meaningful and every game that I lost, every shot that I missed, it all weighed on me and I felt so bad every time. I was so mad, I was so angry and it kept weighing on me. But I did continue to try and change my mentality and it did help. I did start to see a transition and a shift as I kept improving and playing. And on July 23rd, 2022, I hit gold. I was so excited. It almost didn't feel real. Everything that I had done, all the time that I had spent, all of everything came together and I finally hit my goal, which for me meant so much. But at the same time, it didn't feel like anything that I had really expected. Instead of getting back to the music grind and getting excited to put everything I'd learned into, you know, being a professional musician, making it big, doing all that stuff, I felt a little lost and it felt like what do I want to do if I know I could if I know I could set a goal and I could figure out how to get there even if it takes longer than I expected what do I want to set my goal at though so I didn't play Valorant for a while after that um, I still play now um, it's still fun uh, I thought about trying to rank up to Immortal or rank up to Radiant or whatever but I don't know if I want that to spend that much time on Valorant, um, but it is fun to just, now that I know more about the game and I'm better now, it is fun to just play from time to time and be casual and everything. But to be completely honest, right after I reached my goal, one of the things that I missed the most was my warm-up routine, my aim training, and my warm-ups. I missed the process of getting to it every day, and getting that warm-up routine and having something that I was building at and I could see improvements at over time. There was something about that that I really missed. It is a little interesting looking back to and seeing just how mad that I got after every loss, after every failure, after every missed shot, whatever it was, and trying to think about it from the perspective of having reached my goal, obviously it wasn't impossible. I know gold's not the highest rank in the game, but for me and for where I was at, it felt impossible and I felt lost and I felt defeated, but it made me realize that if you can have the perspective of understanding that all the highs and the lows are really just part of the journey, feels like the only way that you can actually fail is if you give up. You have to keep your vision in your mind and keep working towards that end goal. It took me a year and a half to reach gold. As an adult with a full-time job, blah, 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 you know the history, but yeah, it took a year and a half of my life that I spent on this game. But it was really my kung fu. 
and the aim training, the mental attitude adjustment that I had to make to get further in Valorant, it really helped me grow as a person. And the amount of times I've quoted my Valorant journey or what I learned in Valorant or all of that to you know, people in my life and, and just the things that I've done since then is kind of incredible. And it really helped me to grow as a person and to understand what it would take to start something that I don't know much about and that I don't have much experience in and to learn what I need to learn and to know how to keep the end goal in your mind and work towards manifesting that vision. If you can see it in your mind, you can see it with your eyes. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun. And I wanted to end this video with a sick clip of me hitting this dope 4K. Thanks, peace. Enemy remaining. Spike down mid. The rest is his time.